bond between you and your librarian. The librarian might even take your hand and your librarian will point in a direction to let you know your easiest way to get into the library with comfort and ease. It may be a technique or it may be a visual or it may be whatever it may be ask your librarian how you can easily join your librarian in our library whenever you like. See if there is anyone here with your librarian who is here for you. If so, take a moment and talk with them. If not, then chat with your librarian or hear what your librarian or uh, others have to say to you. If you wish, you may embrace your librarian. And now it is time for them to step back, but you find your angel wraps around you a bit more to give you love and support and help you as these new frequencies are connecting with your body. You notice your librarian is still here and supporting you, but you are being attuned, attuned with your personal connection to our realm. And we hope this is joyous for you, for certainly we are filled with great joy for this enhanced connection. Give yourself a moment to appreciate how extraordinary you are. So as you see, with just a thought, you have connected with your angel and your librarian, and you have seen a clear path to the library where you may come and study any time you wish. We suggest you talk with your librarian and say, what lesson should we work on today? Your librarian will always have a interesting and viable response for you for development of useful skills. If you do not feel like you can make the journey all the way to our library, invite your librarian down. You are attuned to each other. You are imprinted and your librarian may be your companion for conversation and personal development exercises. We hope this sounds appealing to each of you. We hope this feels like a coming home, as was our intention, a joyful return home, a connection. For you know 
the librarian you have just connected with is the one who helped you plan this life, is the one whom is scribing your life, is the one whom you have worked with for many, many lives. This is a very special relationship that you have with each other. It is appropriate to feel powerful emotions or comfort, love, security, or any emotions you have. We do not mean to be rude. Of course, whatever you are feeling is perfect and appropriate. We feel the body is becoming weary, so we will prepare to vacate the spark. Has anyone questions before we rise out? Yes, I have a question. Yes. Um, is there a, a physical place the, uh, the library is located? The library is physical for us. This is an excellent question. The library is physical for us, but it is not in a frequency that most humans are yet comfortable <laughs> with. However, it can be physical on your planet if you attune with the correct frequency. The library has existed physically on your planet in times in the past and in times even in the present when there are those who can set the correct space. It is even possible for you, and this is exciting, it is possible for you to become so connected with the library that you can open a door in your home and instead of the room that is normally there, you physically walk into our library. This is possible. There are many who have done this. It is just out of practice for human race because it is sophisticated and you have been on the path of becoming in many ways basic. So we encourage you to think of this as a goal that you wish for and if you visit us and visit us and visit us and you imprint with our frequency, it will be easier for you to bring our frequency to your planet so that it may be physical here for you. Does this make sense to you? Yes, thank you. We wish to speak on this a little more because we love this subject. We love to have our planet in your earth. It is great fun for us. Some ways that we sneak into your planet are in an old bookstore. You go into an old bookstore and you think you are in a back room, but later when you visit, this room doesn't exist. You ask the bookstore clerk about the back room and they say, no, that's a restaurant <coughs> over there. That's the back wall. No, there's nothing there. Then you have been in our library. There are times when you go into an ancient town, ruins, and you open a door and there is a book sitting on a table. This is our library coming to you. So yes, your libraries are sometimes fused with our library. Your ancient places are sometimes 
portals that open to necessary elements of our library. Sometimes we are inside a cave. We love being in your earth. It's very exciting for us because the energy inside your earth is so interesting. Each place that we are able to be physical in your planet has a unique frequency that we enjoy connecting with. It's educational for us. But we tell you the day will come when you will be able to walk through dimensions without a thought, just as your Sasawacha friends do. The day will come when you can call to your guardian angel and they appear physically before you. And we are not saying this day a thousand years from now. These days are coming. These days, this is the next karmic lesson you are going into. This is the door to away from the fighting room to the beautiful party room with the banquet. This is what is waiting for you, and the time is now. Yes. 